Welcome to Ontario Tech University's Summer Camps. We're really excited to have you here today and want you to have the best online experience possible. So to help get you started, the first thing that we're gonna do is help you with navigation and interconnectivity. In the email that you received, you would have gotten access to a link that will take you essentially into the Kaltura virtual classroom that you see here today. Click on the link and enter your password. Once you do that, you'll arrive in your session. Upon arriving in the session, you'll want to come up to the settings wheel. The settings wheel will help you select your camera and your audio. You have the option to select different cameras if you have that available on your device. Simply click on the Chevron button and select your camera. The same is true for your mic. If you have different mics, you can choose the one that best works for you. Once you've selected your mic, you'll want to ensure that this little green bar here is flashing. If it's flashing, it means the team can hear you. Once you've done that, hit close. The next thing you're going to do is come up to the top navigation bar and click on audio. The audio button will allow people to hear you. In terms of best practices for an online environment, when you are not using your mic, ensure that it is muted. To mute your mic, simply click on the button at the top and it will become red. Now, you also have the option to turn on your camera. If you want to turn on your camera the same process as the mic, you will come to the very top, click on your camera, and your camera will be available for your camp counselors to see you. Now, within this platform, you also have options to a couple other tools in terms of communication. You can type in your questions in the chat if you want to chat amongst your colleagues. However, if you have a question that you want to alert the instructor to, simply hit on this little Q&A button here, and this will prompt the instructor that you have a question about the content. Also, remember, you can use your mic at any time. Just keep it muted when you are not using it. There is also an option located in the chat right beside there that you can raise your hand if you'd like to. If you raise your hand, you will come to the part, top of the participants list and your instructor will be able to help you navigate and address your question. Okay, so that's the navigation. So now we're gonna talk about interconnectivity. It's really important that you have reliable Wi-Fi. It's recommended that you're as close as possible to your router in your house. This will help ensure that your hotspots are avoided. The other idea is that you really need to have your device plugged in at all time. This will improve the performance if you're using your camera and your microphone and prevent the battery from dying out. One last tip. Move as close as possible to your Wi-Fi wi device. So you'll see here, depending on where you're located, certain areas will be stronger in your household. So move as close as possible to that. And if possible, you will want to avoid having multiple devices on at the same time as this will stretch the bandwidth. So if you're running one session, it's optimal to avoid having two people on at the same time. Now that you know the interconnectivities, let's say you will be provided with a link as well, which is a testing link that you can utilize for your session in advance of coming. I suggest that you take a minute to run this. It's approximately two. So the link is called smartneuro.com slash room slash test page. This link will be provided in your email correspondence. Simply hit start and it will take a few minutes to sync. You'll know prior to coming to your session whether your webcam and microphone is going to work. It'll also tell you whether your systems have passed in order to be able to access the Kaltura virtual classroom. It roughly takes maybe about a minute or so. You can see my session here is running, but it'll be very handy for you in knowing how or not, whether or not your system has passed. So you can see my camera and my audio are working well here. My systems have all passed and I'm ready to go now. 
If you run into an issue, you'll need to connect, you'll need to report this back to the email that you received it from. We'll help our best to try and troubleshoot any issues that come up prior to your session starting. So thank you for taking the time today and I hope everyone has a wonderful camp.